Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tasha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out how do you think men perceive you and how men actually perceive you. In front of you, there are three beautiful pictures. Using your intuition, please pick the first picture that comes into your mind. I will do pick a card reading and also long distance viewing based on the vibration or the vibes of the image that you pick today. Alright guys, I'll see you on your reading. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tasha Jupiter. Alright, since you're picking group number one, the first part of the reading is how do you think men perceive you? And the second part of the reading, how do they actually perceive you? Alright, let's see it here. Now I also gonna do long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today for the second part of the reading. All right, so let's go ahead for the first part of the reading first. For group number one, for my viewers that pick group number one, how do you think men perceive you? How do you think men perceive you? You have the crow and dogwood. Mm -hmm. Pluto, all right, and water, yes, it is possible that some of you have a very strong water placement in your birth chart, your Pluto might be in the water element, Pluto in Cancer, Pluto in Pisces, or Pluto in Scorpio, all right, that's how do you think? men perceive you but or that's just how i identify you for this group all right if you resonate with this group you think men perceive you as someone that really are just one of a kind with your brain you're very smart you think that you're capable of handling communication um you probably know this man from school or work related matters or universities or just discussing you know um, the things that related to um, your brain or your intellect or your job profession or the matters that uh, truly got interest in your heart it is possible that you and this man work together or collaborate with each other you think that man perceive you as someone that is smart you know with this crow and the dog would um, not just smart but more so like very strategic that's just how you feel how you think that uh, how they perceive you um, and I also feel that you know with um, the crow and the dog wood here the crow is incredibly intelligent honestly all right um, this is an incredibly intelligent bird associated with the power of foresight and the ability to use tools you think that men perceive you as someone that is very handy you're someone that can help other people you know how to use a lot of things you know how to do multitask you know you really great in multitasking um, you're someone that probably have a very big responsibility either at home or in the office in school or even both right your career and home life or you're someone that truly are just very responsible person now with the crow and the dog good um, according to norse folklore the crow is a powerfully positive symbol meant to remind us of our skills and resources you think that men uh, perceive you as someone that truly got a lot of resources you got a lot to offer you're very very skillful you know in what you're doing maybe in your hobbies or in you taking care of your families or you um, handling your job you know or even both between families on and job or families and your hobbies or family and leisure activities so you're someone that work hard play harder or someone that really know how to balance your energy between work and also leisure activities someone that really know how to you know uh, prioritize your needs um, this is also someone that capable of solving any problem so a great problem solver you think that men perceive you as someone that know how to solve your problem really well like the crow the dogwood has a somewhat 
confused public image. It's beautiful, light color petals, confey, gentleness, and whimsy. Few know that its hard bark and strong frame make it an uncommonly durable tree, able to withstand even the hard the hardest weather so you perceive you think that you're being perceived as someone that is delicate romantic pretty beautiful due to your out, outside appearances all right or the way you carry yourself your style your dresses you know you're someone that probably dressed in beautiful flower dresses or someone that truly are pretty or beautiful or handsome all right the way you carry yourself and your makeup your style is just always on point so you think that you're being perceived as someone that really are just beautiful, you know, gentle, whimsy, and light color petals vibes. You know, you got that light vibes. You're probably also good with light colored dress, right? Um, you know, or, uh, you know, mm pastel dresses, pastel colors, or even black or white dresses, all right? Now with the Pluto here, you think that men perceive you as someone that truly are so deep. You truly got that deep awakening moment, someone that truly transforms their life. You have a very different outlook from who you were a long time ago. Some of you might probably, uh, you know, went abroad, move abroad, work out of town, all right? This is the people that um, really move out of your comfort zone, move, um, you know, out of your birth place, birth countries, birth cities, try to make it happen in another place of town, in another part of the country, or even abroad, all right? I also feel with the Pluto here, you have different style from who you were a long time ago. You have different interest, and that's like very different than who you were. You know, this is like changing truly the image, your public image with the Pluto. This is very strong. You have also a deep presence. That's how you think men perceive you. Now with water element here, I feel that maybe some of you might have a very strong water placement in your birth chart. Aries, Cancer, Scor uh, sorry, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With this card, you think that men perceive you as someone that is very emotional or you have that very deep, intense, emotional part of yourself that you let other people see. Um, you know, a sensitive person and vulnerable. Um, you also probably think that men perceive you as someone with high intuition and you know very compassionate as well very sexy and very romantic we're gonna checking it out you know with how do men actually perceive you uh, whether it's same or totally different from this but this is very interesting all right we're still gonna see a little bit For my viewers that pick group number one, please tap me to the viewers that pick group number one. How do you think men perceive you? Group number one, please. You have healthy boundaries. This is like in the same sense vibes with the crow. Because the crow is very strategic, very intelligent. It's just like very intelligent bird. And also this is about dog wood that look like harmless. But they know their boundaries. They know how to set boundaries really well. Now with the healthy boundaries here. You know, you look at this person. They look very fabulous. Look very pretty and handsome. But they know how to draw the boundaries. They know how to draw the line. You think that men perceive you as someone that really know how to protect yourself really well and this is like something that you probably show to the world you know you have a very strong presence in people lives yet you are very beautiful but also people kind of sense that you have some sort of walls that you keep it up or some sort of boundaries that you set because you experienced uh, you know disappointment in the past or people that just took you for granted people that did not reciprocate your kindness you know something like that so you learn the hard way and that caused you you to have a healthy boundaries this is how you think men perceive you now if this is connected to pluto as well you know this is about uh how you how you truly see the world around you you know you used to be someone that very naive you think that everyone has best interest in you yes not everyone against you but not everyone has best interest in you not everyone for you now you learn that through your pluto moment through your awakening moment through deep realization that you know you should should not place high expectation on people but yet you just have to try your best all right and enjoy and be grateful of your life you have to set a healthy boundaries from a lot of experiences uh, that you have in your life that truly 
taught you how to be your own protector, how to take care of yourself, and how to still be kind yet not letting other people walk all over you. So you think that men perceive you as someone that truly come with uh, a mission to do. All right, this is the black wings. Remind me of the wings of this. Um, the crow look at this this is truly got the same similar vibes all right so this is synchronicities from the universe thank you universe and yet when i see this you know i see that um you're the queen after all look at the crown on her hair all right men perceive you you think that men perceive you as someone that truly they cannot play you around you know you can tell that when a man bs you around you can tell that right away so men uh probably you think that men uh you know perceive you as someone that really know um how to be a good you know a good person yet at the same time if you play with this kind of people they will play you back that's like pluto in scorpio all right all right now let's go to the second part of the reading with um how do they actually perceive you and i'm gonna start this reading with um, the long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today all right so group number one based on the image that you picked today i feel that men um actually perceive you as someone that is like the queen you got that queen vibes all over you written all over you you got that regal energy you know it's not just about the strong presence but it's about how you really have in control of everything that you do you are in total control you're someone that really are just scream authority you have a very strong presence that's the image that you pick all right and also men actually perceive you as someone Someone that is very beautiful based on the image that you pick you have that serious calm collected image all right and vibes around you based on the image that you pick today all right let's see this please tap me to the energy of group number one how do they actually perceive you group number one how do men actually perceive you You have the Empress. You have Five of Wands with Zeus. Zealous, right? You have Eight of Cups with Charon. And you have Four of Coins with Epiron. Yes, this is kind of almost kind of the same, a similar a little bit, but a little bit also different. But you got that similarity with how do you think men perceive you? You know, with the Empress here, I feel that um, this is the picture of Hera. Hera is one of the 12 Olympians. She was the queen of the gods, ruling alongside her husband, Zeus. Even with this tarot card. It is kind of like similar with that, um, you know, the, the crow itself is very intelligent, is very beautiful. In a marriage full of infidelity, she pursued with a vindictive hatred the woman he was involved with. She was a strong and powerful goddess who proceeded over fertility and marriage. Men actually perceive you as someone that is very gorgeous, very beautiful. Um, you truly got that feminine power around you, feminine vibes. This is someone that truly have a divine feminine power. Hera was a goddess of women and femininity and is here to help you to tap into yours regardless of gender identity. So regardless of your gender, men actually perceive you as having a very beautiful feminine energy. They truly feel that you are very nurturing, you are very beautiful in your 
your own way. You have your own natural beauty and also you are very sensual, all right? So that's how men actually perceive you. The way you dress, the way you carry yourself, your vibes, the way you talk to the men or talk to yourself. Maybe you post on social media, your, so your social media posts are very sensual or very beautiful. They admire you even from afar and you're someone that doesn't need a lot of validation to know that you're beautiful um, and I feel that you men actually perceive you as someone that is strong confident feminine and also got that internal power which will shine through to those around you so they kind of feel that you are someone with this glow up with this shine whatever you go and that's how men actually perceive you whether you realize it or not whether you want to admit the beautiful things that you have or not but this is you all right now with the five of wands with zealous here Zealous was the son of the infernal river Styx and the brother to the goddess of victory. The Zealous is the personification of rivalry and envy. Men actually perceive you as someone that truly have something that other people wish they could have. All right, maybe you have beautiful smile, beautiful eyes, beautiful bodies, the way you look, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself, your voice, your style, your kindness, you know, your material abundance, your talent, your skills, all right, your achievement, a lot of things or something that you think is just very average other people wish they could have or other people find admiration in what you have this is like the people that will have uh, you know people probably secretly envy you secretly jealous you know some people that might not want to show support just because it's you some people that just keep watching your social media without giving a like without supporting you without giving a like to your post all right this is the people that probably got that in their social media if you have social media now it is possible um, that you know what you achieve what you got is something that people wish they could have or people might not you know um, do their shadow side you know their shadow work and instead looking at you as, as someone that might not deserve what you have when in fact you deserve it you're the empress here you're Hera all right but so men actually perceive you as someone that truly are um fortunate you got something that other people adore maybe you got a lot of admiration a lot of secret admirers or it's easy for people or for men to falling in love with you because you are very feminine or you got a very fa strong feminine presence that make people probably a little bit jealous with the attention that you got all right so you definitely got that attention with the five of wands now with the eight of cups here This is Ch this is Karen, the ferryman of the underworld. Karen was the son of the god of darkness Erebus and the goddess of night Nyx. You know, um, this is about you. This is about you really know um, to bring something to the table. All right, so men actually perceive you as a hardworking person, someone that is probably um, very, you know, you truly got that determination in pursuing your desire, in doing the job, in getting the job done. And this is also a powerful uh, card because this is someone that truly gonna use all the pain, all the anger, and put that all in the work, put that all in the creation, put that all in your dreams and giving a lot of efforts, more than 100%. And sometimes you're being fooled also by the desire to prove yourself in the material abundance, giving security to yourself, you know, providing for yourself and your family. And this is the people that, you know, other people might regret doing bad things or did bad things to you in the past because you turn out to be very good. You turn out to have this glow up. You turn out to truly bear fruits and a lot of fruits, you know, creating material abundance for yourself in this lifetime. And also, men actually perceive you as an ambitious person with a very strong work 
ethic. That's how men actually perceive you. Now with the four of coins here, Men actually perceive you as the epiphron, the god and personification of prudence and, you know, someone that um, that is very good looking. All right. Now, this is also about you living in frugal, you know, have a budget. Men actually perceive you as someone that really care about the back, all right, about the money. Um, you're someone that really respect the wealth. You respect your abundance. You're also someone that probably a little bit possessive with what you have, stingy, you know, or, uh, you know, uh, controlling with your money or truly have that. You want to have that sense of control in what you have so you will not um you know waste the money that you have please tap me to the energy of group number one how do men actually perceive you group number one please all right i have here south node uranus and yes and scorpio i mean look at that we talked that your Pluto probably in the water element. One of the water element is Scorpio, so that's possible. Again, maybe you have Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus in Scorpio or Pluto in Scorpio. Men truly perceive you, actually perceive you like you think they perceive you. So it's kind of similar with your first vibe. Men actually perceive you as someone that is intense. You are very sexy. You know how to expose emotion. Um, You got that renewal energy. You're someone also that... um you, you you got that this very intense look intense presence now within south note here men actually perceive you as someone that they had a contact in past life they probably experienced some sort of the jahu with you um you know um, and this is just related to south note or your past life past habit um, and also with Uranus, this is radically changed. This is related to how you transform your life. So truly, this is like in alignment with the first part of the reading. I feel that with Uranus here, some part of you, part of you truly changed and it's radically changed. You did something, you made a decision, you follow your dreams or you follow your decision. You created some sort of truly change, big change in your life or you already did that truly make you a totally 360 degree different than who you were a long time ago. So men actually perceive you as someone that truly got this big look, big change, big glow up, radically change your outlook, your style, um, you know, the way you perceive yourself or where you live, all right? And also, um, men actually perceive you as someone that is very sexy. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome back to my channel with me, Princess Tachi Jupiter. So, because you're picking group number two, all right? The first part of the reading is how do you think men perceive you? And the second part of the reading, how do they actually perceive you? All right, I'm also going to do a pick a card reading and also long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today. And I'm going to do the long distance viewing based on the image that you pick for the second part of the reading, all right? So now let's start with the first part of the reading. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. How do you think men perceive you? For my viewers that pick group number two. You have the beaver and birch. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see here some powerful cards over here for you guys. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. How do you think men perceive you? You have a sun. And you have a north node. All right. Now, right off the bat, I feel that men... Um, you think that men perceive you as someone that is very self-centered or you have an ability to attract attention without being the loudest in the room but you shining the brightest, all right? Um, now, with the beaver here and the birch, 
you think that men perceive you as someone that is funny, you're very friendly, and you really know how to make other people feel very, very comfortable in your own presence, all right? So you got that friendliness, um, you got that attractiveness that is very, uh, you know, men love being around you actually, and you think that men perceive you as someone that is just easy to talk to, all right? The beaver works hard to build the lodge where it raises its young. Using twigs, grasses, rocks, and mud, it constructs a safe environment for its family as well as a natural habitat for migrating birds. Birch trees symbolize new beginnings and they seldom grow alone. In medieval Europe, they were used as maypoles in pagan celebrations of midsummer because their wood was thought to protect the young and ward off evil spirits. It was often used to build cradles. You are very protective. You think that men perceive you as a protective person. You have a wall around you that you know how to lift the walls up or how to let your guards down. All right, you are very adaptable to new situations. You are, you know, you're very easygoing. But at the same time, when the situation forces you to protect yourself or protect your loved ones, protect your family, and protect your interests, you're gonna show your ability to do so. All right, so that's how you think that men perceive you. Now we're gonna see whether it's match with how they actually perceive you. All right, it's just for fun. It doesn't necessarily defining who you are as a person, group number two, all right? And men also probably perceive you, this is just what you think. You think that men perceive you as someone that made them feel at home. So this is what you think. Sometimes what you think and what they actually perceive you may be same, maybe different, maybe a little bit same. You know, you got that similarities. But you think that men, uh, you know, perceive you as someone that have this ability to take care of the home, very nurturing, you know, or, you know, you are a great cook, um, you know how to take care of yourself and your family, your loved ones, You some of you might have children already, um, you are a great protector, nurturing person, and very feminine. You got that feminine energy regardless of your profession, all right, and your gender, it doesn't matter. Now, I also feel that you think that men perceive you as someone that love being by yourself. You know how to be an introvert. Um, you know how to enjoy your alone time. You can be in your hermit mood, you know, so that's just how you think men perceive you. And also your spirit will benefit from a time of travel and self-discovery. So you think that men perceive you as a traveler. Maybe you post travel pictures, all right, or someone that love discovering yourself. You love developing your talent and skills. You giving this sense of home feeling to yourself and to other people. So that's how you think men perceive save you all right now with the sun here and north node with the sun here group number two um you think that men perceive you as someone that know how to express yourself you know you have a way of expressing yourself that is very unique compared to other people um your sun sign probably something that you think how men perceive you or you're acting or behaving um in accordance with your sun sign embodying the sun sign so that's what men see you instead of your rising sign uh, for this group and also there is this someone that really want to speak the truth seek the truth and you're not afraid to show other people who you are as a person all right so your sun sign is very powerful in how people uh, build an image about you group number two now with the north node here i feel that it is possible for some of you not all of you that you have a same sign north node in conjunction with your sun sign so it is possible that your north node um in the same sign with your sun sign let's say you have north node in Jup uh, in taurus and your sun sign also in taurus or north node in capricorn sun sign in capricorn north node in gemini or sun sign in gemini all right something like that like you got that similarity that conjunction that's possible for some of you if you don't have that you don't have to worry about it now with the north node here um you think that men perceive you as someone that truly destined 
to have this life. You are destined to experience whatever it is that you experience in this lifetime, more so about how you express yourself, how you show up to the world, how you're pursuing your North Node desire, how you truly are in alignment with your soul purpose, which is the North Node purpose. Now, it is possible that your sun sign truly are just also the reason why this man perceive you as your North Node, because your sun sign is important to support you in achieving your North Node goals. And man perceive you as someone that truly know how to achieve your goals, a hardworking person, someone that truly are destined to have big goals in life. You're destined to have, you know, some sort of big roles. You got that some sort of big transformation, someone that follow their ambition. All right. I can truly tell that you pretty much ambitious or a little bit ambitious, at least with your desire, with your career, uh, with your life, with your hobbies, even with your happiness. All right. The North Node play a very important thing. Now it is possible that with the North Node card here, men perceive you as someone that is hardworking. Maybe you know this person from school, universities, uh, back in the school day, or even at work, or you used to work together with this person, used to go to school with this person, all right? So there's this memory that they had with you and they still see you as someone that truly are good in your fields, all right? Some of you might have side hustle or hobbies that you follow. This is your desire. This is your sole purpose. This is your North Node. And men find that you are really matched with that. So that's how you think, how men perceive you, all right? Now let's sit here. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. How do you think a man perceive you? You have a create and progress. All right. Men, you think that men perceive you as a very creative person, you know, then this is probably in alignment with your North Node. Now, it is possible that not all of you are content creators, even though some of you might be content creators. You might have nine to five jobs. You might be a researcher, analyst, waitress, chef, babysitter, doctor, nurses, lawyers, politician, teachers, um, you know, corporate workers, you know, um, a STEM, work in STEM, science, all right, chemist, or completely not related to music or art, even though some of you might have a great talent in music and art, but you think that men perceive you as someone that making progress in their life because that's what you're paying attention to in your life. This is what your energy um, at the moment, at this time when you are watching this video, it's like you're focusing your energy into creating new things, creating your happiness, creating new way of making money, creating new stream of income, creating new ideas, you know, creating new plans, sticking to the plan, pursuing your North Node, slowly making progress towards your North Node, all right, and slowly creating this sun moment and truly making progress consciously. You know, I called it consciously because you realize that you are in co-creating with the universe. You know, you realize that you are born with a great talent and you think that man truly perceives you as someone that is very creative in whatever way and forms. You know, maybe you have new ideas. Maybe you are very funny, very bubbly. That's like your personality. All right, that's like part of being creative because the way you talk to other people, the way you exchange banter is very attractive. You know what I mean? Not every want to really got that talent and that create and progress and number four as well some of you might born in april or on the fourth day of the month that's possible not all of you you don't have to worry about it but something very interesting happening on the fourth day of the month you know plus minus three months from now you know time is very subjective but there's this energy about create and progress that you got a center role you got pain you got you got that tension on this thing that you do creating with your hands creating with your minds creating ideas and making a progress towards your North Node. That's how you think men perceive you. Now let's go to the second part of the reading with how do men actually perceive you, all right? And I'm going to start this with the long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today. Group number two, I feel that men uh, actually perceive you as someone that truly got that leap of faith. You know what I mean? Um, you're someone that truly got this, um, you know, belief system. You got strong spirituality. And I feel that, you know, you're not afraid to explore the choices, explore the spiritual choices or truly develop your spirituality. So that's how men also actually perceive you. Now, it's very interesting. Again, 
we're going to see a lot of different things here group number two are you ready all right please tell me to the energy of group number two how do men actually perceive you how do men actually perceive my group number two please all right you have here the lovers very nice very interesting the knight of coins the nine of wands all right and the knight of swords yes you got two knights here all right let's see it here now with the lovers here i feel that um this is uprooted right Aphrodite, most commonly knows, known as the goddess of love and fertility. Men actually perceive you as someone that is very loving. You got that lovely energy around you. Men feel loved around you. They feel that energy of love, feminine, and you know, beauty and uh, power in love. You are very powerful. You are very seductive here. You can truly make anyone falling in love with you just by being yourself. If you don't feel this way, take this as a sign for you to start loving yourself. The more you love yourself, the more other people see that sun energy from you. All right, the first card that we see on the first part of the reading now she had a great love for Ares Ares is here I got goosebumps here all right Aphrodite has had a great love for Ares the god of war but was subjected to an arranged marriage with Hephaestus so this is how you truly got that duality between the lovers and the god of war with Ares. Ares is actually the love of the life of the Aphrodite. All right, and you got the Ares and the lovers. Men actually perceive you as someone that truly got a lot to offer beyond that smile, you know, beyond that appearance. Maybe you appear very romantic. The way you dress, the way you carry yourself is very feminine. It's ultra feminine, you know, very seductive, very sexy in your own way. However, men cannot see the passion, you know, you're passionate. So men actually also perceive you as a passionate person with Ares appear here together with the lovers because Aphrodite in the lovers card is actually falling in love with Ares and Ares falling in love with Aphrodite. You know what I mean? And these two cards here appear today in front of you to let me know that men actually perceive you as a heartbreaker. Men actually perceive you as someone that can make other people falling in love with you. Men perceive you as this someone with sexuality, sensuality, very passionate. You know, even with the way you dress, is you know, you close off part of your body or you dress very modest, it doesn't matter. You have that sexy vibes around you and men can sense that they can sense behind that smile you're probably very hot in the bedroom you know you're very sexy they probably really want to create that intimate moment with you or have that some sort of fantasy about you all right so that's how men actually perceive you now we're going to discuss about that later but with the lovers here men also perceive you as someone that truly know how to unite connection how to make other people agree with you in a very diplomatic way in a very nice way you also know how to make yourself very desirable so men actually view you or perceive you as someone that is very highly desirable people want to hang out with you people want to fall in love with you if you probably um you know tell other people that you're available to have another partner or available for a polyamorous relationship or available for a new partner they will run after you so fast you know in a blink of an eye because you have that kind of energy you have that kind of hypnotized energy now if you don't feel this way take this as a sign for you to start um, showing appreciation more to your sensuality start showing like your hair more your body more start being appreciative with what you already have right now and don't hide it anymore i have to say that all right group number two you might dress very modest or you might just being forced to close part of your bodies but when you let yourself you know be yourself and dress the way you like you know put the makeup on that you like and appear for yourself you will attract a true love like how Aphrodite attract Ares in her life all right 
Now, also with this card, men actually perceive you as someone that they enjoy working together with, enjoy sharing obligation with, enjoy sharing communication with. So you're someone that really good to work together with, even with the lover's card, because you know how to uh, create partnership, how to unite, how to inspire people to love what they're doing. Wow. All right. Now the Knight of Cups here. With the Knight of Cups here, I feel that group in number um, two, men actually perceive you as someone um, that really know how to follow your heart. Um, you are very idealist. You have a high imagination. Morpheus here. Sorry, this is the Knight of Coins. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, group number two. All right, this is the Knight of Coins. With the Knight of Coins here, um, men actually perceive you as someone that is hardworking, all right? Zephyrus was one of the four seasonal wind gods. Now, Zephyrus is someone that's not afraid of competition. Zephyrus is very responsible. So men perceive you, actually perceive you as a very responsible person, and that's related to the North Node. So there's this matching energy between how men actually perceive you and how you think men perceive you. All right, with the Zephyrus card, with the Knight of Coins here, you're very responsible, you are very efficient, you're very loyal, you really know how to create and achieve small goals and big goals. You're not afraid of habit, of assignment that happened the same and again, you know, what I mean so you're really loyal to the habit to a task to an assignment that always come at the same time the same model you're a pretty good worker here so I have a strong feeling that these people or this particular man might used to work together with you or share some sort of responsibilities with you used to be your partner or still your partner share chores obligations or this is person that find admiration in the way you think the way you solve problems the way you do your work all right so this is the this is just how they actually perceive you related to the north node with the with the appearance of the knight of coins here now with the nine of wands here group number two men actually perceive you as someone that truly know how to be resilient because bia is the goddess of force the goddess of resistance the goddess of persistence the goddess of hope so you know how to be persistent you know how to pursue your desire and have that loyalty and persistence towards it now this is possible to how you manifest your desire all right and men actually perceive you as a go-getter and a persistent person resilient and someone that know how to pursuing it and not giving up at all kudos to you group number two all right so proud of you now with the rs here with the knight of swords you know you got that passionate energy you're probably also smart with your brain the way you think you know you can truly have and won a debate or won debate so much or work in creating argument dealing with words and argument now with the knight of swords here with RS, this is the god of war, you know, there's this energy about you taking action. Your Mars also play an important role in how men actually perceive you. All right, you know how to defend yourself. You got that champion energy, bravery, ambition, and impulsiveness. All right, very powerful, very strong from this group. And let's see your other cards over here. How men actually perceive you, group number two, please. For my viewers that pick group number two. Uranus. All right. So with Uranus here, men actually perceive you as someone that carry the challenge, that carry the challenge and bring the change. You got that transformation. You got that energy to change situation with Uranus. Now it is possible that Uranus, your Uranus might be in alignment with your Mars or Sun. All right. That's possible. You have here Mercury. Your Mercury, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you analyze situations. So yes, these people might falling in love with your mind, might falling in love with the way you talk, falling in love with how you process information. This is related to how you deliver your message. This is related to how you communicate your needs, related to how you solve the problems, how you analyze situations with your work, study, or even just, you know, the way you talk and think and learn, network. So men actually perceive you as a great network work person you know how to communicate really well you know how to network really well you are a great learner a great student some of you this is yes this is the people that used to work together with you still working with you or used to go to school with you know you from similar organization or social activities you know they find you is you know the first time they met you they might see that you are very feminine very loving very beautiful but after they talk to you they're falling in love with the way you
you talk, your mind, and just how good you are in your communication. And that's how men actually perceive you. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. If you want to book me for your private reading, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello group number three, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tacha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out for the first part of the reading is how do you think men perceive you? And the second part of the reading, how do men actually perceive you, all right? Um, so yeah, let's begin. I will do pick a card reading and also long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today. And for the long distance viewing based on the image that you pick today, I'm gonna do it on the second part of the reading. All right, so let's start this with the, the first part of the reading. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How do you think men perceive you, group number three, please? You have the wolf and rose hip. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How do you think men perceive you? You have house nine with spiritual growth. You have Pisces, intimacy, intuition. All right, it's very powerful. All right, group number three. Um, you think that men perceive you as someone that is an introvert, all right? So that's what you think. Um, it might be similar with how men actually perceive you or it's probably going to be different, all right? And it's just for fun. It doesn't necessarily defining who you are as a person. We're just going to having fun here and we're trying to find out. Um, and, you know, yeah, you think that men perceive you as an introvert. Um, maybe you just don't talk a lot with this man um, or you think that you don't know this man really well. So that's what you think they probably perceive you as an introvert. Or someone that just, you know, um, not opening up easily with new people, that's also possible. Now with the card of the wolf here and also the rose hip, the wolf travels in a pack protecting its family and community. You think that men perceive you as, you know, a really good team member, a really good team player, you are a family person, or someone that really know how to work together with people. You really know how to behave in a group setting. That's how you think men perceive you. Another thing also, I feel that men, I think that you think that men perceive you as um, someone that very loyal to your family, a very protective person as well. Like the hun, the wolf signifies loyalty and commitment. Now, the rose hip is a source of food but also a symbol of love as it is the berry produced by the rose plant. You think that men perceive you as someone that are so generous? When you have something, you tend to share with your people, you tend to share with the people in your group, in your family, with your loved ones. So you think that men probably perceive you as someone that willing to share what you have, very resourceful. I mean, you also someone that is very productive. You're always creating something. You're always helping someone. You always be the one that people can depend on. You know, you're always being very useful for the collective. That's how you think men perceive you because your own action truly willing to share what you have and sometimes more than what you have you know what I mean the rose hip is combined associations with nourishment and affection make it an emblem of familial love and care you think that men perceive you as someone that truly caring because that's how you try to show to the people that you love you try to show them that you care you try to show some sort of effort for you love not just about words but also about action there, there is truly a balance between words and action here that I truly see with the wolf and the rose hip. You're not just showing part of you that very vulnerable to the people that you love, but also the high level of um, caring, you know what I mean? So that's how you perform, that's how you express your love through your action. And you think that men perceive you as someone that's gonna show their love through action. You are called to be a mentor. You think that men perceive you as someone that got a lot of experiences. You don't, you don't 
know how, what to do in the beginning, but then you learn a lot. And from that, you gained a lot of lessons. And, you know, that gives you some sort of confidence that it's okay for you to be alone. It's okay for you to pursue your desire alone. And I feel that, you know, with this card, men think, you think that men perceive you as someone that really know how to be a great guide for a lot of people. All right, so that's how I, I see from this card. Um, another thing that I see here is like, you truly come across as a leader. So that's what you think. You know, with this wolf here, you're the leader that truly is showing an example to other people and also not afraid to lead yourself, not afraid to stand up for yourself and not afraid to be alone. That's how you think men perceive you because most of the time you feel like you're being alone. You're probably not paying attention that a lot of people probably pay attention to you. All right, they pay attention to your move, they pay, pay attention to uh, the way you talk, you know, your decision making style. Um, uh, people pay attention to you. But overall, I feel that you got that leadership qualities really well. Um, you know, someone that is very mysterious, a little bit mysterious with the wolf itself, and not afraid to be alone. You're not afraid to be alone. You instead choose to be alone instead of joining the clowns. All right. Now with the house nine here, house nine talking about spiritual growth. You think that men perceive you as someone that is very spiritual because maybe you have some sort of religion or spiritual practices that you follow. I kind of feel also that with this card, um, you think that men perceive you as someone that is very deep. You, you are uh, someone that truly got this ability to think deep, feel deep. So a deep feeler, a deep thinker, you know, uh, because maybe the way you look, your eyes, you know. So you think that men perceive you as someone with deep personality. That's what you think. Now with the spiritual growth here, I feel that in the past you learned a lot from handling a lot of things by yourself, you know, from making decisions for yourself, from behaving in the most mature way. Sometimes for you, it's just, you know, it's so tired to act um, and becoming the bigger person most of the time. So you think that men perceive you as a very mature person, someone that truly got this awakening moment, someone that is okay to be the bigger person. And most of the time you are the bigger person in the situations. All right, I'm just saying that right there. But I feel that um, that's how you think men perceive you. Now with the Pisces card here, some of you might have Pisces in your birth chart or house nine in Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus, north node, south node in Pisces. That's possible. Um, I feel that men, um, you think that men perceive you as someone that is very dreamy. Um, you are someone that is very romantic. You got that very strong intuition. Now, intuition also related to how you grow in the spiritual level. And, you know, you being, you know, you, you think that men perceive you as someone that truly are compassionate. Men can tell that, you know, you have the eye of compassionate person. Now, that's what you think. This is like your perspective. It is possible that it's similar with how men actually perceive you. We're going to see that on the second part of the reading. Uh, but yeah, Pisces over here, you're very dreamy. You have high imagination, very creative as well. And I feel that, you know, you have that luxury look. All right, so men perceive you. You think that men perceive you as someone that really know about luxury or look very dreamy, look very luxury. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How do you think men perceive you, group number three? Okay, it's one to come out. The best of you. Yes, it's truly like very relaxing you know and a very dreamy look very pisces very pisces look maybe some of you love having a bubble bath hot shower or you love going to the spa you love flower bath or you plan to have a flower bath really soon visiting a spa or a massage place you know um taking care of yourself really well you look very fabulous you look very seductive and men you think that men perceive if you as very seductive person we're going to find out in the second part of the reading but the best of you is something that truly the things that you give number three some of you born in march or on the third day of the month or three 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 could be your angel numbers with the best of you you think that men perceive you as someone that you know well put together um you have all your ducks in a row you're paying attention to your look you know you're paying attention to your hygiene you're taking care of yourself better than before 
or making conscious effort to prioritize the best version of you, either spiritually or physically or even mentally. I feel that also um, men, you know, um, probably you think that men perceive you as someone that, you know, um, really, really know how to create some sort of uh, harmony. So you bring harmony. That's what you think uh, men perceive you. Another thing that I feel about you, group number uh, three, it's just, you know, you're someone that give the best service, give the best effort in everything, in friendship. So that's your perspective. That's how you do, um, you know, your dealings. That That's how you respect people in relationship or in acquaintances, working relationship. You always give the best of you. You are a perfectionist. That's how you think men perceive you. All right. So now let's go to see the second part of the reading with how men actually perceive you. And from the picture, from the image that you pick today all right the vibration of the image that you pick today men actually perceive you as someone that is um very daring you got that courageous energy you also someone that probably really know how to anticipate um new situations very adaptable as well i also feel that men actually perceive you as someone that is um you know a secret keeper you know how to, to keep a secret your eyes you know letting me know that the energy from this image is like your eyes got a lot of secrets to tell all right you're not tell when you kiss <laughs> you got some secret admirer over here and men actually perceive you as someone that might got some secret admirer but you don't tell anyone about it when someone come to you and tell you their feelings you don't even share that to anyone all right you keep that as a secret all right here <laughs> Now we see more here. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How men actually perceive you? You have page of cups with Hebe. You have seven of wands with Soteria. I see it here. You have three of coins with the Moirai. And you have five of cups with Lethe. So cups energy appeared twice. Pisces also cups energy because cups energy is the water element. So some of you might have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your birth chart. Very prominent, very strong placement. Um, but we'll see here, all right? Now with the three of coins, let's start with the three of coins. With the three of coins here, this is the Morai. The Morai are three goddesses who determined the fate and destiny of mortals. They were Kotho, the goddess who spun the thread of life, Lachis, who measured it, and Atropus, who cut its length. There is this energy about you doing teamwork, collaboration, building tasks, determination, and commitment. So I feel that same with that wolf energy that you're really good in a pack, you're really good in a group. I feel that with this card, you know, men actually perceive you as someone that truly got a determination to succeed, a really good energy to work together with you. So these people might used to work together with you, be in the same organization in school, or see you as a great, uh, you know, potential partner to collaborate with, used to collaborate with you, or create some sort of things together, you know, have some sort of similar interest or they actually perceive you as someone that is capable of getting the job done capable of doing business capable of being an entrepreneur as well all right it doesn't matter your profession your hobbies you can make your hobbies becoming your entrepreneur energy all right maybe your hobby related to k-pop and you know you can organize people to attend concert together you know applying license for creating merchandise something like that so that's could be also the ideas that you can incorporate 
great for being an entrepreneur based on your hobbies just that just like example it's going to be different for each one of us but i truly see that creative side from you um, that truly can make you an entrepreneur or someone that truly got side hustle real from your hobbies um and i feel that that's how men actually perceive you with your creativity you actually can go far in life that's how men perceive you now with this card as well i feel that there's this energy about you building something, a builder energy, right? Maybe some of you build your career from zero, build your life in a new area, in a new country, in a new town, move out of town, move out of state, move out of countries, moving abroad, study abroad, travel abroad, or just having new profession, passing the exam, finishing school. There's this energy about you building your future, building your dreams, building your desire, or some of you might build your dream home home you know that's also possible there's this energy about you building something with the three of coins and men actually perceive you as a great builder someone that they can want they want to build together build family build connection build relationship all right um someone that will start something from zero and creating something from it that's how men actually perceive you now with the five of cups here Men actually perceive you as someone that really know how to go with the flow, really know how to sit with the disappointment and not letting that uh, change you as a person. You let all this is disappointment, you know, betrayal, just kind of like sitting there, uh, you know, sit with it and let it go slowly. Time will heal you. You're someone that's not going to deny, you know, bad situation. You're not going to living in a rose colored glasses all the time you know you're willing to see the situation as it is and it's kind of just like you know um, a wake-up call for this man so men actually see you as a realist someone that truly want to see the reality someone that want to go down to earth even though you have deep emotion here five of cups page of cups you got deep emotion you're, you are water element very strong in your birth chart um sun moon rising jupiter venus you know mid heaven north north south north you got Pluto even, um, some sort of, um, you know, water element that truly change you, who you are, what you think, and change your perspective about the world in general, and truly takes time to understand if that's the thing that you need to handle in this lifetime, you're not just going to waste your time mourning about it. You're not just going to waste your time being sad all the time, but find your conscious effort to build something new, build new happiness, build new hope, build new connection, build new activities, have new hobbies, some sort of Things. your survival skill is like on the top of the top all right very adaptable as well with this card um and that's and that's how men actually perceive you now with the seven of ones no wait we go the page of cups first because it's also cups energy men actually perceive you as very beautiful or feminine person hebe is the goddess of youth so men actually perceive you as someone that is very funny witty you got that youthful energy you know maybe this man knew you long time ago or a couple years ago they realized that they didn't see anything change from you there's this energy about you being very youthful you know being youthful in energy being youthful in spirit being youthful in the way you exchange banter you got a youthful energy you're gonna grow in this lifetime becoming someone that truly gracefully uh looking young you know what i mean you got that youthful energy and that's it you know what i mean that will keep you young at heart and that will keep you look beautiful or handsome um it doesn't matter how old you are later on or even now group number um three you got that charisma a very charismatic person as well with this card all right um, you're someone that is a dreamer, you're very creative, you got that innocent look about you. So men actually perceive you as someone that is innocent, someone that truly have a good heart. And another thing that I see here, there's this also creativity coming from this group. You, you're very creative. You're basically very creative, all right? Um, and very gorgeous as well with your accessories there's also butterfly here butterfly is the symbol of transformation um you change from someone that always take things seriously to not take things seriously a lot at this time you know you tend to just go with the flow and find happy moment to celebrate your life with seven of ones um you're a passionate person absolutely with this card um and another thing that i see uh from you group number uh three with the seven of ones here this is the goddess of safety salvation and deliverance you know there's this 
uh, maintaining control, someone that is controlling. So men actually perceive you as someone that know how to control your situation, control your manner, control how you react. You're also being perceived, actually being perceived as someone that not afraid to set boundaries, not afraid to challenge the status quo, not afraid to stand up for yourself, not afraid to persevere and defend yourself. Wow, you truly got a, a very powerful... Um, energy or presence um, in, in the reading here, group number uh, three. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How do men actually perceive you? You got mutable. You're someone that, yes, is go with the flow. Again, this is similar, all right? This is validation. You go with the flow. You will come in change. You're very adaptable and not afraid of change, all right? So that's also something that we discussed before. Can I get that similar energy with how you think men perceive you? You have here a Mars. It is possible that your Mars might be in the water element or in the earth element. Mars in Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or Mars in Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. With Mars here, men actually perceive you as someone that is uh, one to go forward in life. You are a go-getter. You're not afraid to defend yourself. Again, this is talking about defending yourself. Seven of Wands and the Mars. So it is possible also your Mars might be in a fire energy, all right? Or truly got that Mars uh, totality in the fire element. Regardless where your Mars located, I feel that there's this desire about you really want to change your life, you know, from who you were a long time ago, you already changed now. And that's truly make men actually admire you even more. All right, group number three, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. If you want to book me for your private reading, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.